Judge gave us a preview of the Gross International Reserves data we expect today. To talk more about it, we have with us Luis Dumlao, Senior Economist from the Ateneo de Manila University. Now, Luis, let's just bring out the chart once again of the Gross International Reserves. As mentioned earlier, it's been quite on an, on an even keel. There were dips that had some worried, yes. especially back in November. Now, how do you see it coming in for February? It's, uh, it's, it's going to be more of the same, pretty much mm -hmm. uneventful. Okay. Uh, ever since, uh, uh, ever since around 2004, the government has started picking up the gross international reserve of approximately uh, just just over less than 20 billion dollars. So in, in two years, three years time, uh, we've gone up to, to 80 billion. In fact, it went to a peak of around 85 billion uh, in in 2012. Uh, but about 2012, we discovered that. Uh, we, we, what we've been doing is we've been putting our reserve on international investments. Uh, but just when things went a bit scary in Europe and then the United States, uh, then it's no longer that we were investing so much uh, abroad. Uh, and the alternative to that is uh, we have been reducing our debt. And, and that's why we have this stable uh, uh, for uh, international reserves. But the BSP now want the target for 2016 to be 82.7 billion. Now, do you see do you see that target as being feasible? It's it's feasible. It's doable. It's it's right there. Even if you add that 82 billion mm -hmm. there, it's going to be more of the same boring bar because it's basically the same. It's the same height. Uh, but how do you the, see the this? The thing here is what they will do with the extra. That's the thing. That's the issue here. Because without doing the extra, that would easily be over 82 billion. It could go up as 85, even go up to 90 billion. But all of analysts worry about the peso or see the peso weakening up to the end of the year to some up to even 50. So won't mm -hmm. we be needing, will that be enough to be able for us to protect the peso? Well, the um, question is, do they want to protect the peso? Uh, and we have various interest groups coming from both directions. Uh, you have the uh, export uh, sector uh, wanted this, this exchange rate to up even higher. Uh, so it becomes a political economic question which the BSP will accommodate. Will it accommodate the, 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 uh, the, the importers or, or the, the finance people uh, so that to, uh, to use the dollar to protect mm. the peso? Or will it allow it to go to 50 pesos, 52 pesos per dollar to accommodate the exporters? Uh, sometimes I wish it's just pure economics. Now it becomes somewhat of a, a policy political decision. Uh, yes, right. Yes. Now speaking of the BSP, they were just at the roadshow in New York, and mm -hmm. as mentioned earlier, th the point of view of most of the analysts and investors is that they don't see the elections as a game changer now, or who will sit does not seem to matter. Do you agree with that perception? Well, uh, let's just put it this way: uh, most of the benefits, the buildings that we have seen here in the in the present administration. These are buildings that were not assigned or authored by this present administration, but were actually designed and then proposed and then implemented and then find by the by the past administration and only finished this. Except that this administration is taking credit, credit for, it. for it. And that's the natural thing of it, of course. Uh, the next administration, as you will see, all the traffics that we're seeing, was, guess what? We were blaming it on the present administration. But the targets there, you see it in the streets. All these uh, skyways connecting north and south, they will be finished around 2018, 2019, when the new president comes in, when that new president will take credit for that. So whoever that president is, there are projects already undergoing who will. So there, there will be benefit. There will be new highways out there, regardless of who the next president is. question is whether this next president will do something in favor of the next president going And put into in these really big projects that will have yes. a long-term effect. Yes. Now, just very quickly, we just had the National People's Congress kick off over the weekend. We had China set, mm -hmm. set their new targets at 6.5% to 7%. Yeah. How do you think this will affect the Philippines? Well, uh, well, it's certainly for the first time, at least we, we, we see something that's uh, a more honest target from, from our partner, China. Uh, what it used to be is a point target of uh, eight, seven percent. Uh, what those targets are really are implicitly they 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 were floors. That means if they so say now you seven, see it as a more honest target. It's a more honest, and it's this time it's a range. It's six and a half to seven percent. So there is a floor and a 
a ceiling. Which will be better for the markets. Which will be better for the markets in terms of us being able to, to predict. Okay. Thank you very much, sure. Louise, for joining us today.